guys i know i'm i'm all i've been going in my so much on youtube but anyways in today's video i am going to be showing you how i put on my wig lay my wig using this ghost bond glue and the melt the meltdown method whatever you guys want to call it i'm not some hair guru or whatever so yeah we about to get into this video but before we get into this video if you're not subscribed to my channel then what are you doing like you need to subscribe to my channel down below you can go ahead and stop this video right now and subscribe to my channel because how you watching me you're not subscribed to me subscribe to my channel like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up go check out some of my other videos and yeah let's just get into this shenanigans because the struggle was real but i'm gonna show y'all the struggle okay okay I don't know much about wigs. I've been trying to do better with this whole wig game thing. But today y'all about to watch me struggle to put this. This is the star of the show. This wig is from OMG Her Hair. I got this wig because I watched Lexis hair here on YouTube. And she did it, uh, her sister hair with the wig. And I was like, oh, it looks nice. And it's not too expensive because i don't i cannot see myself spending four or five hundred dollars for a wig so that's how i end up picking out the wig i'm very picky about my hair though so before i picked out the wig i watched like a lot a lot of different videos so yeah that is the start of the show i'm gonna be doing the meltdown method i'm gonna say i'm gonna be attempting the meltdown method because y'all got this wig game down pack and i'm still over here struggling can get my color to match and everything so yeah i curled this hair last night and put the little half up half down style in it or whatever so that's how i'm gonna wear it but first you know i gotta prep my whole head and in order to get it to stick your your hairline can't be oily right here so i'm gonna take some of this alcohol this 50 percent alcohol and it helps it's gonna help dry out my hairline area and I just want to go ahead and give y'all a disclaimer. I have wore this wig a couple times. And I do notice that when you have on a wig and you have it glued on your hairline, if you're out in the sun or whatever, you're going to get a tan line. So it's going to be like lighter right here and darker right here. So I do notice that a little, little bit. And I am going to be putting this on my skin, not my edges so i don't got time for y'all to say your wig is up too far i'd rather my wig be up too far than not have no edges so that's just how it is y'all been in my a for a long time i'm sorry but i don't know just been living my life that's what i've been doing living my life i don't have no legit reason as to why i've been going and this feels so awkward to be recording right now like i'm almost kind of shy <laughs> So yeah, I got this really light beige color. And let me go ahead and let y'all know, I ain't teaching y'all nothing. I'm just showing y'all what I do to get this wig on because the struggle is real, I'm not no hair guru. So don't say it didn't work out for you because it might not work out for me either, sis. You can put whatever cap that you're interested in for you. Some people use their skin color and some people go a little lighter than that. So I'm gonna put it on and it's gonna go over my ears because I am going to Try to give it, make it to the effect where I look bald. I have my blow dry. I'm gonna blow dry it on cold setting after I put this freeze spray. I really like this freeze spray. I was like, where has this stuff been all my life though? Like where, where have you been? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this spray. And what I like to do is do it in sections instead of just going all around. So I'm gonna spray this spray and I'm gonna spray it right in front of my hairline on this half of my hair. And then I'm just kind of pushing it, pushing it down so it can like seep through. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more. You're gonna need a little bit more on your edge area simply because you need that to stay down and it always have a hard time staying down.
So I'm back, y'all. I tried to dry it as much as I can, but after you dry it, you're going to be cutting. Cutting the excess off. And I want to cut it really close to my hairline. So anything that I over glued on the stocking cap, it's got to go. And I'm just cutting around my hairline, not my hair. Don't cut your hair, people. Your hair is more important than looking good, honey. I really have seen with videos where people actually cut their hair. And like, oh, it'll be fine. No, sis, it ain't fine for me. I barely got hair as it is. So yeah, I'm just cutting around. And as you can see, some part is not dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray right here and then it will dry. This bullshit. Now y'all can see why I said I ain't teaching nobody how to do this because I barely know how to do it my damn self. Not even barely, I don't. Like, beauty, people who do hair on YouTube make it look so damn easy. But while I'm cutting this, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the wig because I've had it for about a month now. Probably longer than that, I just barely wear it. Um, It's good so far. Like, it's really, it holds some curls. Flat iron, the lace is really nice. The only problem that I did run into was it takes a bit longer to bleach the knots than other lace frontals. Like, which sometimes some company here do take time for their lace to process their lace. I don't know what they use a different kind of material, but it takes a little bit longer for theirs to process the bleach. I mean, all you got to do is just go up in the volume. But that's the only thing. Everything else about this wig is bomb. So that's why my coloring ended up being off because it was so, it took forever and so many attempts and errors for me to be able to even at least get it close to the color that I needed to the point where I was just like, fuck it. To the point where I was just like, forget it. Like, it's not that deep. Like, I'm not about to keep sitting here stressing about this color i'm gonna just have to put some makeup on it that's how like long it was taking i was just over it so yeah um yeah you know i don't have any shading i don't really have any shading if i do it's very minimal to the point where ain't nothing to talk about um i will put the link to their website in the description box since I actually do like the wig. Like, I really do like it, so I will. I don't mind advertising it. Um, no, this is not sponsored. No, they're not paying me. No, none of that. I bought it with my own money, and I'm talking about it on my own wheel. Nobody asked me to talk about it or anything. I just noticed you guys like my, my hair videos. Like when I do hair videos, especially natural hair videos. And I'm trying to just stick with being only on my skin for this because I don't want to take up. But yeah, you guys like hair videos. And it's not like that I don't do my hair often. It's just like doing hair is a struggle. So imagine doing hair, having to set up the camera. It's a lot of work. This is a disaster. But I will. It's just gonna have to do video. But yeah, anyways, I have been using this ghost bond, but I also still use the got to be glued because the thing about it, like a lot of times people who I've asked about it or reviews that I've seen about it, it's nice, but don't get too caught up in using it all the time because you will start seeing something going on up here. So yeah, and you have to be very careful to try not to get it on your hair. If you do, it can be removed easily with alcohol, but who wanna keep going through that? So yeah, it's the ghost bun. I ordered it from Amazon. I will put the link because some people have a hard time finding it. So yeah, I'll be using the ghost bun. And then you don't wanna put it on your, Come on, focus. 
you don't want to apply it to your edges with your fingers because of course your fingers produce natural oils so that's going to make it harder to stick and i don't do that whole five layer thing only because i don't keep my frontal on for two three weeks i don't keep it on so i usually do one layer or two layers that's the most i usually go uh, i don't think i'm gonna go beyond that because just imagine how hard it is to get off so basically what i've been doing is i've been taking taking it and putting dots dabbing right all across really close to the to the front of my hairline but not on my actual hair which you can't touch my hair anyways because i got on this stocking cap but it is a little tad bit of my hair out right here. So yeah, I just been dotting it on. It kind of looks like school glue, but yeah, the hole is like ugh, crazy. To the point where you get into a fight, somebody pulling your hair, your brain's gonna feel like it's coming out if they're ripping this off of it. That's how good the hold is. So yeah. And then I usually really play, pay close attention to this part, the end parts of my hair, because you really need that to stick. And then once I do that layer, I'm going to spread it out with the back of my makeup brush. You can spread it out with whatever you want to spread it out with. Like I, when I tell you, I'll be finding any and everything to spread it out with. You, I heard you can use a concealer brush, but I don't want that clumped all up in my concealer brush. Like I'm sure it's much easier to clean out this brush to clean the back of this brush and I'm just kind of spreading it out you can have you have two choices sit here and let it turn clear and then add another layer or after the one layer and it turn clear you can go ahead and put your wig on and lay it down or i've seen some people that go ahead and put it on now because they want to be able to have the freedom to move it around and adjust it because the thing about it once it turned clear and you kind of stick it in stick that lace in there it's in there so if you're really super super new to it and you don't know where how you want your lace to lay or how you want it to look you might want to wait for a couple minutes while it's still kind of white and then put it on but if you're used to it then you could just wait till it can turn clear maybe add another layer and then let that turn clear and then put it on and then i usually tie a scarf around so i'll be back when this becomes clear okay so for the most part is dry this part at the oh this is the one side that what didn't want to act right but it's cool though because i'll just put it on anyways it just give me a little leeway to make a little mistake okay so i have an elastic band i put it in my wig myself it did not come with it the wig came with two what is it called i forgot what it's called the little the little comb things in the inside and then one of these combs in the back part of it if you can see it was two of them in the front but i took them out because they was bothering me so i took them out and yeah and I'm just putting the back part of my wig on oh Jesus you see how it do its own thing and I'm kind of like trying to make sure everything is sticking up okay so I'm gonna slowly bring it to the oh, super sticky I'm going to slowly bring it to the front. I try my best to work in sections, but I'm like super impatient. So I got my comb, my little point, my comb got a point on the end, but it's not the one with the, what I was telling y'all about, what I was just talking about. So I kind of just try to pick up my edges before they stick because I don't want them to be all super hard and crusty. They somehow still end up hard and crusty, but at least I know I try. I try, I try. 
So I'm kind of pulling it up. And I'm kind of pulling it over. So I'm just going to and lighten it down. Lighten it down. Over here trying to be low weight. Low weight junior out in these streets. <sighs> this stuff is hard work. Like these beauty gurus be lying to y'all. Well, hair gurus. Because beauty in here. I mean, hair goes with beauty, but still, they be lying to y'all. They be making it look so easy. It's so really hard. So now I need some glue right here. Because this ain't going to cut it. So I'm just going to go around to make sure the airplane is light. And, oh, Jesus. This is how I work. Y'all don't worry about the curls yet. They still like super fresh. So don't worry about the curls yet. Just worry about me laying the weed, okay? And now for the most important part for me <laughs> is trying to lay these dang edges. Argon Oil Eco Styler to lay it That's my next video is about this eco styler because mm, y'all really be trying it. Or it might be up before this. No, nah, it'll be up after this video. I'm going to use this because it's like way softer. It's not going to make my edges super crusty and hard. Oh, this is this part is actually the hardest for me to get my edges to lay how I want them to lay. So now I have to finish that off with, that's the best it's going to get y'all, I'm sorry. But now I have to finish those off with some got to be glued in the black bottle. And I'm going to take this scarf and I'm going to put it on my edges. And then now I'm kind of fingering my hair through these curls because... I like super big looking curls, so I want, them, I want them to look more effortless. Half up, half down is already like my favorite style, so it's even better that I can actually take a wig and do the same style. But honestly, I definitely want to try out some closures. Try out closures over frontals. Frontals take a lot of maintenance. And a lot of time that I do have, but I don't want to dedicate to. So that's like the story of my life. So I'm going to let this sit for a bit. I'm going to let this sit on my edges for a bit. And then I'll be back for the finished look. I'll probably be back after I do my makeup. So yeah, I'll be back. So you guys, here is the finished look of my hair after going through all that. When I tell y'all the struggle was real, because let me go ahead and warn you. If you put too much glue up here you and you lay your lace and it's extra glue, make sure you have to rub that glue off with alcohol, whatever you can, because if you decide to go put on makeup or something like that, it's going to make it look super crazy. So yeah, make sure you try to put the exact amount of glue you're going to need on your edges or else you're going to be sitting here like me struggling every time. And I tell myself I'm going to stop doing it and I keep doing it. But this is how my hair turned out. This is how it's looking. I'm feeling it. At first I wasn't. I was like, Ugh. but yeah, 
So everything about this hair, yes, I would recommend somebody to get the hair. No, it does not shed. Yes, it hold curls like really good. I, that's all I've been doing to the hair most of the time when, since I've been doing it. Yes, it gets bone straight if you really want it to be bone straight. The lace is bomb. Like I said, the only thing is it take a little bit longer to get to bleach to knots, but that's just fine. Everything else is bomb about this wig, and I would definitely recommend anybody to go check them out. OMG, her hair, and it was really inexpensive. I think this wig was like less than $20. <laughs> $20 what the hell it was less than $200 total and it's already constructed and everything so you can't beat that price because most people charge like $500 $600 for wigs out here but this is the her this is the her this is the her her y'all yeah this is the hair but that's pretty much it for this video i'm sorry if it's super long but it takes time honey this beauty takes time like after this hair video, you will be seeing how I got this makeup look, this little quick summer makeup look. So, thanks you guys so much for watching this video, and I will definitely do my best to start back being consistent on YouTube. Um, go check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.